Chetanad cuisine is the cuisine of a community called the Natukotai Chetiers, or Nagarathars as they call themselves, from the Chetanad region of Tamil Nadu state in South India. Chetanad cuisine is perhaps the most renowned fare in the Tamil Nadu repertoire. It uses a variety of spices and the dishes are made with fresh ground masalas. Chetiers also use a variety of sun-dried meats and salted vegetables, reflecting the dry environment of the region. Most of the dishes are eaten with rice and rice-based accompaniments such as doses, apams, idiopams, adays and idlis. The Chetiers through their mercantile contacts with Burma, learned to prepare a type of rice pudding made with sticky red rice. Chetanad cuisine offers a variety of vegetarian and non-vegetarian dishes. Some of the popular vegetarian dishes include idiapam, paniaram, velai paniaram, karapati paniaram, pal paniaram, kuzi paniaram, kosakatai, masala paniaram, adakus, kandarapam, siyam, masala siyam, kavani arisi and atharasam. In Chetanad food, major spices used include anasapu, star aniseed, kalpazi, alikan, puli tamarind, milagai, chilies, sambu, fennel seed, patai, cinnamon, lavangam, cloves, bay leaf, karu milagu peppercorn, jiragam, cumin seeds, and benthayam fenugreek. Historical influences in the 2014 book The Bangala Table, Flavor and Recipes from Chetanad by Sumit Nair and Meenakshi Mayapan, historian S. Muthia writes, the Chetiers have traditionally been vegetarians. Their feasts at lifestyle ritual functions remain vegetarian. But trade once had them criss-crossing the southern reaches of peninsular India and absorbing non-vegetarian influences from the Malabar coast, where Christians of the Orthodoxy of West Asia and Muslims lived in large numbers and Hindus too tended to non-vegetarianism. Further non-vegetarian influences became entrenched in Chetier food habits from the late 18th century after they established businesses in Ceylon, Burma, the Dutch East Indies, French Indochina and what is now Malaysia and Singapore. So did non-vegetarian fare from other parts of India through which they traveled en route to their overseas businesses, writer Guy Treve adds in the foreword of the same book, one is lucky to eat like a Chetier, they say in South India. Chetiers say it themselves. They say it because a Chetier table is a groaning board but also because the cuisine is uncommonly subtle and aromatic, a heritage of Chetier participation in the centuries-old spice trade, the global import and export of pungent seeds and fruits and barks from places like Cochin and Penang, the Banda Islands, Arab ports in the Straits of Hormuz. To the coconut and rice and legumes that are staples of South Indian cooking they added telecherry pepper, salon cardamom, Indonesian nutmeg, Madagascar cloves and blue ginger, or galangal, from Laos and Vietnam, in places like Penang, in what is now Malaysia, the Chetiers developed a liking for the sweet sour piquancy of Straits Chinese cooking, in Saigon, they adapted their cuisine to absorb the herbs that perfume Vietnamese food. In Buddhist Ceylon, they relaxed their dietary prohibitions typical of Orthodox Hindus and came to enjoy meat. Thus, the Chetanad region, a semi-arid zone comprising scores of villages, sleepy and agrarian, studded with important ancient temples yet far from major commercial centers, became an unlikely locus of internationalized tastes. See also Tamil cuisine References